I'm making this video because I've found the master key to the universe and I want as many people as possible to know about it. Basically, I found the way to beat life. I found what everybody always wants. How to always be happy, how to have as much money as you want, how to go anywhere in the world, how to get any of your desires, how to feel content with having nothing and just to be happy and positive in general. Basically, all that is good. I have found the key to it and how to unlock it in your life. So I just want to share this information because the more people that know about it, the more people can live their dream lives, or at least I believe everyone will live their dreams eventually. But knowing this in this incarnation that you are currently in, in your human avatar that you are playing as this vessel that you are that your spirit is living through you are having a spiritual experience you are a spiritual being within a animal body the master key is three words everything is good everything is good stick with me for a second a lot of people are going to hear that and they're like, well, wait no there's bad things there's bad things it depends how do you define good Okay, let me preface this by explaining a concept, and that is because the universe exists in the mental and all is mind, how you perceive things is how it is or how it will manifest. Okay, anything can be seen as good or bad. Good and bad are perceptions that we give to things, that we give to the things. They are not inherently or objectively good or or bad we perceive it as good or bad it is not an objective thing okay the main argument people have to this proposition is that well if everything is good explain all the bad things in the world explain all the terrible things that happen to all kinds of people all the suffering how can that possibly be good there is one good thing about all negative things and there is only one good thing about all negative things and this applies to every negative thing the negative things existence allows for the existence of a good thing there could not be any good without any bad okay so it is necessary for the bad to exist therefore it is good good it's just a word stop getting so riled up <laughs> oh and here's another rule that will help you understand this and it's that the physical world follows your spiritual and mental world. The, the inner world is reflected into the outer world. The outer world follows the inner world. The inner world is base reality. A lot of people think that the physical world is base reality. But if you go down to a cellular level, you will even see that 99.9% .9 of matter is empty space it's literally been like looked at with scientific instruments like it's not just a theory so you may ask what is in the other 99 percent that is not the matter it is energy energy and movement energy is also known as spirit which is where spirituality comes from it's basically emotions are spiritual it's just energy and going through your body and then there's mental so the universe exists in kind of like a triangle there's a triangle let me draw it and then over here is mental spiritual and physical and the universe is perfectly balanced that's why the bad and the good exists all right the bad needs to exist it is meant to exist it is good everything is good if you can perceive every single thing as good then to you it will be good inside your mind and people are like well if it's just in your mind then how is it truly real first off the universe exists in your mind so obviously it's real and secondly it will manifest into the physical over a period of time because things have different rates of vibration right so the physical world matter vibrates on a much lower level than spirit spirit is like instantaneous right and the triangle is connected all three are connected right so as soon as you start vibrating on a higher level internally and seeing everything for the good that it is. Every single thing is good. Just tell yourself that all day. Everything's good. If you ever are having negative thoughts, find the good in it. Say, wait, why am I thinking this? No, it's good. 
people have negative physical realities because the physical reality reflects your inner reality. So people who focus consistently over a long period of time on the negative, people always thinking about like what they don't want, what they're upset about, all that stuff, that actually gets manifested in the physical reality because they're all connected and the universe is perfectly balanced. Once you change your internal chemistry and you start focusing on the good, it'll take a while for the physical reality to catch up because it vibrates slower. But if you stay consistent over a long enough period of time, focusing on the good always, your physical reality will have to balance out and catch up because the universe is balanced. Your internal and external reality like to be balanced. The universe tends towards balance. Balance is good. It'll take a while. I don't know for sure yet, but I've heard that it can happen as fast as six to eight weeks. It takes six to eight weeks for the physical world to catch up with your internal chemistry. I'm not going to try to convince you any further. You don't have to believe me. If this video is not clicking with you, then maybe you are just not ready to step into a more positive life. Maybe you're not ready to move on from the negativity and that is okay because everything happens for a reason. I'm just now integrating this mindset fully. In the next six to eight weeks, you will see drastic changes in me personally. I That's all I can attest to because the only thing I truly have control over is my own consciousness. So the only thing I can tell you for sure is that within me, you can watch on my channel over the next six to eight weeks, some very drastic things will happen. And that's as that's the fastest it can happen. I don't know for sure that'll happen that fast because the physical world takes so longer for things to happen. I don't know. I don't know. But I do know that I'm not going to change my spiritual and mental states from the high vibration that I have found from the seeing the good in everything tool that I have found. Everything is good. I wrote it like a million times in my journal just to rewire my brain just so that I know for sure it's going to stick inside my brain. The more energy you put into it, the more likely it is to happen. Where focus goes, energy flows. The one who can see good in all is seen good by the all. The all is God, and God is all. The one who understands this is taken far, so far that all is good.